Welcome to a, another edition of a series that I said I wouldn't be doing any more of because I need to stop buying cameras, but it is the unboxing series. And this one in particular, if it is what I think it is, I've been buying a lot of tools and like things lately that will help with more challenging repairs and new fun things that I want to work on, but I've not been buying many cameras because I have too many. Uh, I believe I have mm, somewhere in the 80s range. So 81, I will say. But I will get it out of the box here. We are dealing with very limited space because uh, I got projects on my desk right now that are filleted open and I need to put back together, but times are busy. So last week was was a rough one. Not a rough one, but you know, it was just one of those weeks from like, kind of feel like I want to treat myself. So I did. I, I treated myself and I bought this for too much money, mind you. And it was in the um, parts or repair section of eBay, which is where I frequent because I don't like having very nice things. But it is a black AE-1. And this lens uh, is garbage to me, kind of. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. <clears throat> I always love when the lens cap is broken on there. This is a UV filter though, that's fun. That's super great. Yeah, Tokina 80 to 200 4.5. Oh, and it's got close focus, which is better than macro, because because macro is, is, is not as good as close focus. The lens looks like a Petri dish. Uh, you probably can't see through there too well, but there are definitely signs of life in this lens. Uh, it's very good to see. On the... Oh, that's... Uh, uh, on the listing, it said that... I'm going to go ahead and take the strap off. The listing said that it would not advance properly. So we'll hope that it's something that's relatively easy to fix. I will not disclose how much I spent on this, but I sent a picture of the listing to my friend after I bought it. And his reply was, why did you spend so much on that? <laughs> the battery door is in decent condition. I got this. Well, hey, that's a good start. It was stuck advancing because it was dead. Okay, so you can hear there's a little bit of friction on that advance. Oh, that's good. There we go. Okay. Sometimes the bulb on these will just stop working because the contacts that need to hit in order for it to engage bulb are either old or just that circuit hasn't been utilized. So you kind of have to work into it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Got a pretty bad aperture squeal. That's like one of the first things I check when I'm going through these. And if I bet, okay. So I would say that it probably could use just a lot of lubrication. You can see right there, there's a chip in the viewfinder glass. There's actually two on either side, which isn't great, but it doesn't really obscure it too much. Like you can still see through it okay. But fortunately I have, uh, I have replacement glass, so it's not a big deal. And it would appear, it appears though everything is working relatively okay in this. So that's great. This I would like to be cleaned off so it more matches this color here. I'm not too surprised, it's very common uh, to see on these. But yeah, 
honestly great buy and look at the bodies in great condition that screw has definitely seen better days i'd imagine if i pop open the bottom to fix this there's going to be some issues but for just a general overview of this is the camera that i bought for an amount of money i'm not comfortable disclosing i'd say it's pretty good in good condition and also too i hope this serves as a helpful hint with things you want to check when you get a camera always check like for an a1 check to make sure it works uh, if it doesn't check the battery voltage bad voltage put in a new battery fire it at the different shutter speeds you should be able to tell if you don't have a shutter speed tester that's totally fine just you should be able to tell that there's a difference between the lower speeds and the higher speeds if you're hearing any sounds like that that just means it needs some lubrication i always like to check this because you won't necessarily hear that unless you're firing at like an f22 because this is what moves the aperture blades and if it's dragging like that then it could potentially lock up at some point which would not be good and then also with these i always like to check the self timer too because Either the, the light could be burnt out, the self timer could not engage properly, or whatever is going on. Like, that's just always kind of something I like to check personally. The battery check uh, for an AE one, it's just gonna be the needle, and it will either display uh, below 5.6 or at 5.6, and if it's at 5.6, then it could probably use a new battery, but it should go below that, near like 2.8. And then just check to see that the uh, the frame counter works. And yeah, that's basically it. You know, there's no big body dents or anything like that. So I would say pretty good purchase. I'll get it uh, fixed up in a different video. But for now, hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.